Okay, Foxy here, and this is going to be a educational video on the Cooler Master 212 Plus and Evo model heat sinks. Here's the whole heat sink. This might be a little dirty. We're just going to use this for example purposes. It comes in the package. You'll have this piece, which is the heat sink. We're going to be doing AMD specifically today. Um, it's going to mount to an AMD board. You'll have this piece in your kit, which will expand to all sorts of directions like this. It's in the shape of an X. It's got springs with little hold down screws. If you're doing this on, a, <clears throat> on an AM2, or AM3 uh, system, then you want to get this bracket out. Have your heat sink handy. This is the mounting plate that goes on the back of the board. Um, you're also going to want the pieces that come in the kit with them. Um, you have these little nuts and these little studs, I guess you call them. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> one thing to notice with these right off the bat is you can't really see it on the camera, I don't think. But there's one side that's slotted. And if you look closely, look right here, there's a flat side and then that's rounded. Kind of like a half moon. There's a slot on this that matches up with that. So say you got to hold it up to it, it's not going to go anywhere. Well, you want to match that flat part up. There's how you can find it. The threads are flat right there. You can see that. They're rounded on the sides. They're flat right here. Just take that flat spot, line it up with the flat spot, and it'll click right down like that. So you try to put it in the wrong way. It's not going anywhere. Line it up. It clicks right in. And then, of course, you're not is going to go on the back of that. Like so. As you get this tool in the kit, which has a screwdriver fitting on the back to where you can take a normal Phillips head screwdriver, hook it in, and it becomes a wrench. You have your heatsink fan with these brackets. These brackets, I forget if it comes with them installed or if you install them. I think it comes with them installed. Either way, uh, you put them on by these screws that screw in down here. You can put these dampener pads over it. keeps it from rattling around. And they're easy to put on. You just push it over and these little prongs pop into these seams right here. So I think it comes as a whole unit though. You just have to mount it to the board. So without further ado, we're going to mount it to the board. So here's the motherboard we're going to be using today. Um, I would recommend putting your RAM in first uh, before you put the heatsink on. And of course when you put your RAM in, you just look at which side is shorter than the other. If you got DDR2, same for others. You can just line it up in these slots. And then click, click. There you go. Two mounts, one here, one here, and one here. They've got little tabs on it, and they screw in, and there'll be a backing plate right here that'll be a uh, like a flat black plate. Those, um, what you want to do is you want to unscrew Phillips head that'll be here, Phillips head here, and here, and here, and that'll come off, and the face and the back plate will fall, off, or you can pull it off. Okay, I have an example here. So this has mounts with your screws there. You take those off, this will pull off, and this plate will come off. Okay, back to our board. You've got your RAM put in already. Um, put your RAM in first, and of course have your, your uh, heat sink here. Um, it will come stock with thermal compound applied to the bottom of it. Um, if not, pick up some thermal compound and put a tiny little rice sized bit of compound on the uh, heat sink. I recommend using Arctic Silver, but all I have right now is Radio Shack Compound, which will do good for this educational video. Turn your board over. Now you have the holes here. You want to take it with the these prongs on the side pointing towards you, like this, with the flat side with the green padding on it towards the board you'll notice automatically that these line up with the holes like this. 
that's for the AMD. The other side's for Intel, but we're doing this strictly for AMD right now. So you want to have that out. Let's take it, lay it flat. So have it laid flat against the board. And what you want to do is you want to take these that have the notched bit on them. You want to take your board in your hand, like this, holding it by the bottom here. There's a little cool little thing you can do to help you with this. You can hold it kind of like this and kind of balance the tip of the board against your chest. What you want to do is you want to take these guys and put them in, rotate them until they click into place. You want you to put one there. You can hold it. Turn it to where you can see it. Hold it in place. Take the nut here. Put it on the back. That'll give you enough leeway room to be able to do the do the opposing side to where you can get it in easily. Okay, and once we have that in. And once those opposite sides are on, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy to work with once you get those. Okay, once you have it on there, it should be like this, and it should look like that on the top. You want to get out your Phillips. You want to get out your Phillips head and your wrench. And you want to... You will drop this. Th you will drop this about a million times. I promise you. Place your thumb over the top of one of these, and then take your wrench, put it over the back of that on the nut, and then take your Phillips head and screw it in until it's tight. <clears throat> Like that until it just stops. See, there we go, I'm dropping it again. So now you have your hold down plate installed, so you're pretty much good to go here. And you have your heat sink and your little cross bracket thing. You want to take, before you do anything, you want to take a cross bracket and you want to put it in like this. You want to put it in like this straight first. Go in. And the minute you get to where it's poking out the other side, then expand it. Get this side through here. Like this. Just kind of squirrel it until it pops through. And when it pops through, then you expand it to where it's an X. Goal of this is to put it on hor put the heatsink on horizontally. So set it down horizontal with the RAM, like this. And then you want to match 
your contractor bracket and match your mounting holes your bracket up. and mount your mounting holes up here this model I didn't need to install the rim first with the fan off with the fan on you may have to depending on your model but match your screw holes up kind of go around and just have them screw just a couple threads in it will be a pain once you get to so you can get a screwdriver line it up with the thread kind of push down enough to get it to kind of latch in so the other side the heat sink will squirm around so then once you have it on there like that To do crisscross pack to distribute the weight, kind of like uh, kind of like putting a tire on. I mean, not a tire, putting a uh, rim on a car. It's about the same. So the first ones you want to tighten down tight would be this side, and then the opposite side, which is around over here. And tighten them until they stop. Like that, they'll just stop dead. Okay. Now, once you've got that in, you're good you have enough room you can kind of wiggle it around if you want it tighter there's a tightening screw right here that you can screw to tighten it to where it won't be doing this tighten up to squish it together to where it's a little bit tighter just enough to where it keeps it steady but you can still kind of wiggle it then once you have that on you're ready to put your fan on with your fan, um, where the back is, where there's just a sticker, and not this side. Um, this needs to be facing where the airflow is. So, it needs to be like this, over the ram. So, you need to install your ram first. This is if you haven't got the single unit. If you have the single unit with the fan attached, then don't even worry about it. Put your put your ram in first before you even start to mount. I mean, the when you do the mounting process, everything will be fine. Put your ram in, then start putting your heat sink on. When you put your fan on, you can kind of kind of get you a view here. When you put your fan on, you just kind of line it up. Don't try to force it down over the ram, just have these tabs going up. Your goal is to get onto this. So you just kind of clip, clip, and they line up and clip in, and you're good. And you can be a little above, like right here, if uh, you need the ram space, like with G-Skill, to have the fins. If not, um, you can kind of take it. Let's see, we have enough clearance here. It's above the ram. You just take it, kind of push it down a bit, and it'll down, and it'll just move it down a bit to where you'll be in the right spot. And of course, you want to take your fan. This is your CPU fan, so wherever your prongs are, where your CPU fan is, which looks like this. Here's your CPU fan plug. It'll be around the CPU somewhere. I'll say CPU fan or fan one. Here's our plug. Some of them are just three prongs. These are four prongs. You just take it and just simply just hook it on there. 